Welcome to Bad Box Art, where we take vintage video game boxes, remove the titles, show it to people who have never seen it before, and make them guess the game's plot. Wow, that hair. Those teeth. This was definitely the 90s because they got a kid in a skateboard. He's really shredding the gnar right now. He's either doing an ollie or he's like flying. Yeah, I'm a rad kid riding a skateboard. Woo! He's got good hair. He's got Conan hair. Maybe it's the young man's story of young Conan. He looks like he's going to school. He's got a backpack. He's got his pet frog with him. This is definitely a sequel to Frog Up. What are you doing with your life, man? Just hanging out with frogs all the time? They're like comic book characters on the side. People in the background are just so weird. Kind of all look disappointed in him, like he's a delinquent. That guy looks like a drug dealer with the crooked, messed up nose. I feel like he's on crystal meth. Uh, right to the right of that fisherman with the, with the big lips and the weird hairstyle. That straight up looks like one of my aunts. Right above that is like his stepmother with the cleavage and with the pearls. She just sits around in her in her bra, smoking cigarettes. And then on the left side, there's there's like a teenager smoking, and he looks like he's got this look on his face. Like, brr, looking kind of mean. Want to buy some cigs, kid? Here we have our boy Skippy on his skateboard, and then he's got his sidekick, Mr. Pickle. It's me, Skateboard Kid, and my friend Frog. I'm gonna say this kid's name is Tommy. The frog's name is just Mr. Frog. The frog is some kind of like, lab experiment, some kind of like Stranger Things type thing. The frog is definitely going to be an integral part of the game though. This is a game for every weird kid. The kid, he's always talking to his frog mate. A lot of the dialogue is just this kid complaining about his childhood problems. The frog is just kind of muttering to himself or it's just like, if you think that's bad, try eating flies. Maybe the kid has a disorder where like, <laughs> maybe he just thinks this frog is his best friend. This kid has absolutely zero social skills. Because he doesn't have any other friends. And the frog is also kind of like his conscience. And he has like something wrong with his brain where he just sees happiness and everything. And he came across this frog and he's like, hey buddy, can we be friends? He's like, yeah buddy, I'll be your friend. And the frog's like, well let's go on adventures and try to steal money from your parents. He's like, what? He goes, yeah, let's steal money from your parents. And his frog is like, ah, you should just do it. Just try it, man. And all he wants to do is have fun, right? He is ditching school and he wants to go on an adventure. Well, doesn't care about homework, he's just skating all the time. You come across your first enemy. The guy smoking the cigarette is the edgy older brother. Who is also playing hooky. His brother's like, hey, you want a cig? The little brother's like, no, smoking's bad for you. The older brother just calls him a narc, hawks a spitball at him, smacks him on the head, tells him to get lost in the most stereotypical edgy teenager way possible. Smoking's not cool, kids. And uh, Mr. Frog goes, hey, Tommy. And, and Tommy's like, yeah, what's going on, Mr. Frog? He goes, you know how we stole money from your dad last night? He goes, yeah, Mr. Frog, what do you want me to do today? Well, now we're going to go to the bait box of the fisherman down at the wharf, and we're going to pee in the bait box. He's going to go, that doesn't seem like a friendly thing to do, Mr. Frog. And he goes, oh, it'll be real fun. It'll be a rip-roaring adventure. And you know what? We're going to pee in his thermos, too. He goes, Mr. Frog, that seems kind of weird. Why would you want me to pee in this guy's thermos? <laughs> like, no, it'll be fun. Don't worry. So they go down to the wharf, and they pee in the thermos, and they pee in the tackle box of this fisherman character. And he comes back, and he's, you crazy kids. Why are you peeing in my thermos? What are you doing? And Mr. Frog says, wasn't that fun, Tommy? Tommy goes, yeah, let's see what else we could do. Skippy doesn't have the, the best moral compass here. He keeps like encountering these townspeople and they're just like, you get out of here with your skateboarding. But then he's like, oh, Frog says I can, so I will. And they're all very, very put out by the situation. And they're probably gonna file lawsuits against Skippy's parents. It's all wrong, all of it's wrong. It's a sad story. So once once you defeat these people who don't like the kid. I think everybody hates this kid. So the only way you can get them to go away is by pelting them with rocks with your slingshot. So I feel like Mr. Frog is a figment of his imagination. And I feel like Mr. Frog is maybe just like a dead frog that he found on the road somewhere. That he's just been talking to and like opening its mouth to speak the whole way through the game. And he just keeps it in his backpack and he's sort of like imagining that it's alive, but in reality it's just like a dead frog that he found on the side of the road. Skippy, after a day of shredding the gnar, he goes back home. And he sees his older brother, his scowling mom and grandmother. All of them are smoking cigarettes. And his dad says, like, Skippy, where have you been? This is unacceptable. You're not my real dad because it's actually a stepdad. Choose your own adventure and decide whether or not you want to do drugs and become the evil kid who never graduates junior high or don't do drugs and become the happy-go-lucky grown-up Tommy that you always want to be. The Adventures of Willie Beamish. What is this? 
I mean, they really messed up by not having and the frog. Get a Willy watch. This kid's not even wearing a watch, but you get one. You'd think they would like give out his sneakers or something or a plush of Mr. Frog. What if you were nine again, knowing what you know now? I ask myself that all the time. It's just like Back to the Future. It's like you've got your brains gone back in time. And now has to make all the right choices in life because he did, made all those wrong choices that I mentioned earlier. Uh, do you know what I don't know what any of this is? Put the gameplay on, please. If this isn't a side scroller, I'm going to be greatly disappointed. It's a point and click. Okay, it's not a side scroller. Text adventure. You have to go to school? What kind of game is this? I like how his frog is in his inventory. And Mr. Frog. Oh, but he's making himself a hall pass. He's a little sneaky boy. Here it is. He's going to play hooky. He's not skateboarding at all. She. Oh, that's his mom? Whoa, was that his mom? His mom is wearing that? There is a cleavage situation going on here. Whoa, mom, you are slamming. His hot mom is wearing a bra. Dude, his mom's just like wearing like a sports bra and nothing else. I'm liking Miss Beamish. I feel like she was talking a little too sensual and that made me a little uncomfortable. I'm all up to my ears and I greatly need your help, Willie. I was also really concerned with just like the daughter just sitting in the corner, just kind of like lifeless, like, like, are you not paying attention to your kids? One's playing hooky, the other one might be dead. I don't know. She's not smoking a cigarette, so that's good. She looks bored as shit of life. She was wearing a crop top. A crop top with like her boobs, like a lot of cleavage. And maybe a towel around her waist, maybe a sash or something. I don't know if that presents a, a situation <laughs> that has to be handled, like, like a mission to get your mom to change clothes so that all your friends aren't looking at her or something. <laughs> I see you, Miss Beamish. I see you. She looked evil when we first saw. Like when I first looked at that box art, she straight up looked like an evil character because she had like this maniacal look on her face and she doesn't seem to be at all. She still sounds weirdly seductive. You called up the right, uh, the right anime YouTuber to, to do this game because uh, it's my kind of game. <laughs>